It's Sunday, November 21, 2021. I'm coming to you live from the West Central St. Catherine constituency of the current health minister, Dr. Christopher Tufton. I'm currently out doing my, wow, my screen is a little shoddy. Let me see if I can, all right, so here I am a bit, a little focused now. All right, so I'm out doing my Jamaica moves, movement, looking at the stars, observing what is happening in this community of St. John's Heights. St. John's Heights is located a few miles outside of Spanish Town. The most famous landmark being the Dovecot Memorial Park. Today is Sunday, as was said earlier, but I will not be attending any church service today. It is not that I am a non-religious person. It is not, wait, all right? See, we have another, no, all right, no. All right, so it's not that I'm a non-religious person because, in fact, I am in possession of a number of Bibles. One of them left um, by my mother, who is now deceased. I recently did a subtract stack. Or is it a subtract stack dot com post where I highlighted some of the books that I read or that I have read over um, a certain period. These books have impacted my life and have influenced my belief system. Uh, I have discovered some Alibabas in this community. The thing about these Alibabas is that they are the ones that portray, well, some of them, because one James Lee, who lives at 22 Forsyth Avenue, he suggests that he is a Seventh-day Adventist um, person. Another, Myron Graham, is some relative of some evangelist in the United States of America. Uh, another short man, I saw him returning from, where was that? I think it was Sabbath services. <laughs> Sabbath services with his daughter in his lap, him in his cute little monkey suit, trying to look cute. Yeah, but that, that, I, don't know that, I don't know if he impressed the people at church, but based on how he lives in this community, he has not impressed me. I would not become a Christian or any, I would not attend a church based on the influence of Shortman, James Lee, or a number of other persons I see in this community called St. John's Heights that say they are Christians. All right, so this is me. All right, now I need to get back in the light. Alright, so this is just a brief warm-up. You see, despite the fact that I was injured on the 19th of July, 2021, and the police, well, I don't know, the police who are investigating seem to think that I will allow it to pass like all other nine-day wonders. One thing that the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the employees they're in, need to remember, no matter how powerful they tell their friends that, that they are, is that they have someone that they have to account to. Alright, so this is the moon from a different angle. They also have someone that they have to account to. Recently in Jamaica, we saw where Royal Reed was fired. Well, oh, not oh. That's such a strong, um, impolite word to be using at this time of morning. 
he resigned his post from Jamaica College after buying his $45 million house whilst on suspension or something like that. Alright, so that is not my business, it's just the fact that I pay taxes. Yeah. Just that small fact. If, as a taxpayer, as a free citizen in Jamaica, I am not entitled to the protection of the police or soldiers from the police and soldiers who apparently are involved in scamming in um, illegal land acquisition or claiming in the St. John's Heights community what do I do? Recently uh, the most honorable Andrew Olness said that if what no one is safe if, what if I, I don't remember the quote because right now it is becoming irrelevant to me I have seen where efforts that I have made to seek employ or to gain certain financial independence via the internet via certain creative endeavors the internet uh, sub substack uh, wattpad instagram youtube are being frustrated by external elements my name is Dwayne Perron Mohammed White I operate I created and operate the accounts I created the hashtags with a view in mind we're almost there social media is taking some persons that I have been complaining about for some time by storm I think they may have been involved in this attack I'm not sure but the investigations I don't know what to think of that all right so we have another vehicle come in I like to record these vehicles because I've noticed some persons, especially the taxi men in this community of St. John's Heights. So I'm along Enriquez Boulevard. We just passed where um, Corporal Fatgut lives. Uh, I've noticed where some taxi men in this community, as if they're steering, because when they're passing me, like they're swerving towards me. I was recently attacked by one taxi man and I told the justice of the peace who lives in the community and her advice to me was to go around and pray. It is Sunday, November 21st, 2021. I am Dwayne White in Jamaica, in St. John's Heights, along Enriquez Boulevard. <laughs> 